This is the bronzer queen. Hi peoples, welcome to my channel, Bernie Playing With Makeup. My name is Bernadette. All my friends and subscribers call me Bernie. So if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn the notification bell, that way you will be notified if you upload new videos just like this. It's videos that get ready with me. It is all about newly released makeup that have been added to my collection. For today's video, this foundation right here from Hourglass, she was one of the co-stars of the video. This foundation is very hyped up right now. If you want to see how this foundation performs, here are my thoughts and my feedback on it. What you're going to have to do is keep watching. So guys, welcome back. If you are a returning subscriber, oh, we're so happy to have you. And if you are a Bernie Babe in the making, I hope today is the day that you go ahead and make it official and become a Bernie Babe. Just hit that subscribe button right now. There. Today's video, we are gonna be doing a Get Ready With Me style video and I will be playing with some of the makeup that's been released over the last two months and some of these are really, really hyped so I am excited to get my hands on them. Before we go in with the makeup though, I'm going to remind you of SPF. Today's SPF is from Biosons. This is the Biosons Squalene Plus Zinc Mineral Sunscreen. This has SPF 35 and I act I guess you guys know if you're not new here I do really enjoy using this it is not as expensive as some of my other sunscreens and it is just as effective as I always say it does not matter what sunscreen you use this little segment here is meant to remind you that you must use sunscreen not you should not you could but you must use sunscreen I already have my sunscreen on I'm gonna jump right in I'm going to start priming my face I'm gonna prime today using this from Bobbi Brown this right here, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I'm not necessarily a big fan of this because I don't like the smell. It, you know, it has like a lemony smell, but I've had this for a minute and I did open it. So I need to use it before it expires. I hope everyone is doing well. As you guys already know, I haven't uploaded a video in a little while. If you are not new to my channel, you're ready that I'm forced sometimes to take unplanned hiatus due to my body not liking me. There are gonna be three or four new products not all of them are new to me. I filmed some of these, the footage was lost, and so I figured I'm just gonna put everything in this little get ready with me and just see, you know, how we feeling about all of the new makeup that has been really hyped on social media, especially YouTube. And I'm using this foundation right here. This is from Hourglass. This is their new ambient soft glow foundation. The foundation comes in like about 36 shades. I have it in the shade 14.5. That is listed as a as a warm undertone on Hourglass glass as well as on Sephora. If you go to Beautylish, I know, I know I go there, so if you go to Beautylish, you're going to see that this foundation is listed as a neutral as a neutral undertone. It's okay because if Hourglass says it's warm, I believe it's warm. Guys, I am talking so fast. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. I'm going to be chewing gum and walking because I'm still not feeling all that good. Let's see. Oh, let me see if this foundation is my shade. Okay. Okay. Okay, it looks like the shade can work for me. I had worried a little bit based on the reviews I saw, but this is the style where I have foundation and this is the style where I don't have any foundation. Oh, before I really get into this video, I have a little breakout situation going on right here. I have no idea what it is or why. I've been trying to get rid of it, but yeah. So it should be interesting how this foundation blends on top of that, which is texture. This foundation claims to be a medium coverage foundation. It gives you a natural finish and it's liquid. The highlighting ingredients, light diffusing pigments that delivers a natural star focus finish and helps protect the skin from Blu-ray light. It also has blurring spares, which is supposed to minimize the look of imperfections, fine lines and, and wrinkles. And then it also has white T oxidant and vitamin E oxidants and all the benefits that comes with them. I unfortunately am not going to do a, a wear test with you guys today because I don't feel like it. <laughs> no, I want to film another video and I, I'm hoping that I'm able to film another video. I don't want, ooh, I don't want to, you know, have to come back, especially since I'm not feeling all that great. I have been really going through it since you guys saw me last. 
it all started with my computer going down i feel like whenever i put an update on the computer it always causes me more problems and so i'm not a big fan of it i've had this computer for probably two years and i have never updated it so when we call apple to let them know we have some issues with iMovie they tried to help us but then when they realized the computer was not updated they told us to update the computer big mistake this foundation blends like a foundation that will dry down quickly and it says that it is a, the finish is a natural finish just from looking at it right now i don't agree with that i think when they say soft focus i think what they meant to say was soft matte as i was saying before i was so rudely interrupted by myself the computer just started acting a fool apple was really really amazing they spent hours over what a four or five day period they spent hours on the computer with me and then my husband my illnesses are not caused by stress but stress most definitely does not help i'm supposed to try and remain stress free as much as possible but i am a warrior meaning i worry a lot i know my husband my husband always tells me i worry too much like i just need to know everything is okay i need to know what i'm dealing with with anything so when my computer go down and i have footage that i need to edit and i can't edit it then i'm going to be stressed i have videos that are video i have videos i need to film that are sponsored videos that i have to get out and you know i already had the date scheduled for these videos brands would have already been told what date their video is gonna go out and so if my computer isn't working and i'm not able to meet that commitment i end up stressing I just found myself stressing during this time it was like over like i said over a five day or so period and Plus the last day I filmed, you guys won't get to see that video because I didn't lose it. What ended up happening was the computer got wiped, causing me to lose all footage that I had. Last time I filmed, when I was almost done, my IC, like I had the worst flare up I've had since being diagnosed with IC, I experienced that day. And it was kind of weird because I was able to sit down and film fairly easy. I literally could not sit or stand. I don't know if you know what I see is. I'll put it on the screen. You need to go and tinkle, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like you need to go and tinkle really, really bad. However, you don't necessarily have a lot in the bladder to tinkle. The lining of the bladder is inflamed when, when you're having a flare -up. All autoimmune disease is some kind of inflammation. Thankfully, the next day, I was feeling better. That was when I found that there was an issue with iMovie. The more days was going by, the more I was finding myself becoming extremely stressed. By the time I realized that I was already stressed, it was too late. I had the IC pain, like once I started to get stressed out. I already know my illnesses, they seem like they feed off of each other or they throw others off. I think they feed off each other. I think they're like, okay, let's see which one of us can make her cry the most. Crohn's up that unlock. <laughs> Crohn's feel like, mm, y'all got you and nerves. I have nerve damage from a surgery. I also have Crohn's disease, which I've talked about on my channel. Crohn's disease and IC are all painful conditions. One of the main indicators that you're in a flare up is going to be pain. With Crohn's disease, the pain is in the digestive tract. But I see the pain is in the bladder. The pelvic area is where you're gonna feel pain. Because my Crohn's disease is how I classify it as the big dog, I tend to talk about that more as well as I say I'm sick people, but people would just assume, people who know me would just assume that I'm having issues with my Crohn's disease. But I have issues with all three of them. Right now, the illness that I have that is most under control is Crohn's disease because I had surgery. Surgery is seen as an extreme form of managing Crohn's disease. And what that entails is, I don't like how this blended out. On my forehead, I feel like this foundation is separating. My first impressions of this foundation right now, I wouldn't say this foundation is, 
I wouldn't call this foundation, like I wouldn't write home about this foundation just based on how it is now. And as I said a minute ago, I feel like the foundation is separating. I'm surprised at how this foundation is behaving with me because I watched a lot of reviews of this foundation and I didn't hear anything that I'm seeing. All, all the reviews I saw, this foundation was the best thing since sliced bread. And I have to tell you right now, I feel like this is probably my raw first impressions at this stage and any other foundation I've reviewed this year. This is the foundation that, that I'm least impressed with right now. That can change obviously as I go ahead and finish this off. Right now I have about two pumps on my face and I feel like I still need more coverage. This is how I'm looking with one extra pump on. My impression of the foundation right now, I don't like this foundation. <laughs> I tend to be able to know if I'm gonna like a foundation as soon as I start blending it. This foundation is a medium buildable foundation. However, I found it very difficult to blend this foundation as I built the foundation up. I'm going to bronze with this new bronzer here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Science Plus Color Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. This is not gonna be a first impression on this bronzer. I did already film this, however, the footage is lost. I do have this in shade number three. In Charlotte's powder bronzer, I own it in shade number four. However, I find that, and I look from something that on, on, online, I feel like this was true for this as well. I feel like the darker shades for some of my skin tone, it tends to pull a little bit more on the cool side, which kind of gives you more of a contour vibe than a bronzer vibe. So I select a shade number three in this. Here it is right here. It is a, the packaging is very, very pretty. Typical Charlotte Tilbury. This is what shade number three looks like. I feel like on my skin, this shade gives me that sun-kissed feeling. I think I mentioned the price for that, that is $56, which is the same price for the, this one here. You guys know this one, my ride or die bronzer. Just to give you a quick look at the two of them together, this one does look a little bit more rich, well, a lot more rich. I think that's the reason why shade number four would look a bit more like a contour product. You could you could definitely see it. She, she warms you up, she warms you up. It's not gonna be that deep bronzer look if that's what you're going for. It just gives you a sun-kissed glow. I think I think the description of this is actually really good for it. Once my flare up from the IC started to die down. Now, everyone with an autoimmune disease, it's gonna behave differently for everyone. For me, I find that my IC flare ups, I can get them under control within about 48 hours or so. So the IC flare up has started to subside when the big dog, Crohn's, said, okay, you know, I mean, she's already in bed. She looks like she won't cry, but she's not crying. <laughs> so once my IC flare up had cleared up, I started to experience Crohn's symptoms. I've had Crohn's disease out of all of the illnesses that I struggle with, I've had Crohn's disease the longest. And I still, like I said, I do consider Crohn's disease to be the big dog. Crohn's disease is the one that I've had to have surgery for. I see, hopefully I don't ever have to have surgery for it. So, you know, I'm starting to recover from I see, and Crohn's decides it's gonna pay me a visit. Now trying to get over a Crohn's flare up, that is extremely hard even if it's a mini flare up, and I call it a mini flare up when I don't have to go to the doctor. I don't have to go on steroids, on pregnancy, on prednisone. My Crohn's disease is quite aggressive. It is classified as an, an aggressive disease. What mine is moderate to aggressive. Most people tend to have moderate to severe Crohn's. That is not me trying to minimize anyone else's struggle. Crohn's disease is a very, very challenging disease to live with. It really is unpredictable. It is intrusive in ways that I would never, I can't even share with y'all, that's how, like how much invasive the disease can be. So I'm not trying to minimize anyone by saying that most, most people's disease is categorized as being moderate to severe. Mine's is severe to aggressive. And that's because it's outside of my digestive wall. If you have not yet done so, now is a great time for you to go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber and make sure you turn the notification bell. I've had this thing that goes back a year. Actually, it started when I got my first Crohn's flare up. It started off with me having swelling in my, uh, in my hands and my ankles as well as my knees, which is why they thought it was a sickle cell flare up. It wasn't. I wanna say sometime last year when I was sick, I started to experience 
sickle cell like symptoms which is the swelling the fever and it's very very painful but also turning from, from ic and struggling with crohn's my ankles was like really really swollen really really swollen as of right now we don't have a diagnosis for what is causing my ankles to swell up for most of my life it was thought that it was sickle cell it's not sickle cell it is something else they don't yet know exactly what it is my ankles got really really swollen and they was really really tight my fingers got swollen my fingers are still somewhat swollen like this is the ring from Anna Louisa I'm wearing on my ring finger because my wedding rings are too small for me right now my backup wedding ring is too small for me right now and as you can see this isn't coming all the way down I know we went on this finger here and I couldn't get it to come all the way down so I'm just popping on this one here but I'm still struggling with swelling and we don't know what it is right now the swelling is not hurting a couple weeks ago the swelling was extremely painful I have these two products here for makeup by Mario. This one here is the Perfector, the Scrub Translucent Perfector. And then this one here is the Transforming Enhancer. Quite honestly, I really don't know what any of these are for. I have it in the shade Deep, and then I have the other one in the shade Medium Deep. I, I'm gonna see if I can just layer this on top of what I have on. Let's just see what it can do. Okay, that's, that's giving me a little bit more depth. Okay, I might have got this shade too. These look much more deeper in the pan than they are on your face. Okay, I like it. I was like, what the what? Oh, okay, it's pretty. I think as a bronzer. Oh, okay. I, I'm really liking what I'm getting from both of them, layering them on, because I feel like this one here by itself probably wouldn't give that much of a coverage, because it's, it's a very, very sheer product. Okay, I like. This one here is called the Skin Perfector. Now from watching Makeup by Mario's videos, he did put this on and basically like kind of set where he put the, the cream product, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let me grab another brush. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush right here, and I'm using this brush right here because products that have three in one, I feel like they uh, they get cross contamination. Oh, okay, not what I expected. I did not expect it to have that much depth. Papa Grab, they come up with six new blush. If you wear makeup, I'm sure you're, you're aware of it. She came up with six new blushes. These are the dual blushes. I got three, three of them. The shades that I have are the shades that are bundled for deep skin, dark deep skin. These are not my favorite products from Pat McGrath. I must say, everything that I've tried from Pat, from Pat McGrath, and you guys know I do love Pat McGrath, this, is, this was like lukewarm. I felt like, eh. I felt that way because the shades that I have, which are the shades that was in the bundle, three for $120 for a deep dark skin, those shades, I feel like I feel like only one of those shades actually works for us. The other shades, I do feel like they are very much muted. This one here, I was least impressed with. I really was like, seriously, like seriously. I'm not sure if Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath Labs are claiming all of these as new blushes. This one here is not new. From her original launch, I do have two shades that I believe these are actually those same shades. I don't know if I would consider it new. This one here, I would say was okay. Once again, I mean, you can tell, you can look at it and you can see that this is not the most pigmented shade. That's exactly what it looks like in the pan. You can look at this and be like, this is not necessarily for our deep skin. Now, what I did do was swirl this around and picked up both of them and I did not get the ashiness that I was expecting from this pink shade here. Perhaps using them together, it does kind of help to use them together. So today, I'm gonna try the shade here. This is exactly how it looks in the pan. Now from my swatches, this one here is extremely pigmented. This is the only one, in my opinion, that is for deep skin, especially if you have a deep, rich skin tone. This is the only one I feel like is gonna work for you from the three that I have. Now I will say this that I forgot today. Pat McGrath on her website does say her favorite way of using these is to put them on the skin before you set your foundation. 
in a video i'm hoping i kept that clip i did do it that way with the second brush that i showed you and it did show up just a little tinsy bit more but definitely wasn't for me to say oh my god I'm, no that wasn't it this one here from my swatch of it it is very very pigmented it's gonna be my first day trying it i'm gonna use this brush right here i forgot to come up with a blush a new blush brush but i in my opinion pop mcgraw brushes are overly priced yeah i said it i'm going to dip the brush into both of them but i'm not gonna go in with a lot just because i already know from my swatches that these yes yeah, see with just that little bit it's already starting to show up now okay this is pretty the other ones as i said they wouldn't the payoff i got from them was nowhere near the payoff i'm getting right now nowhere near so as i'm trying to recover i then find myself just having to now deal with being weak and just low energy so i'm supposed to try and look it up for you guys i don't know if you've ever heard of the spoon theory it's something that was written by someone who had lupus and she was trying to explain to her friend what life is like for those of us that are chronically ill and suffering from autoimmune diseases. The short version, she got, I think, I can't remember exactly how much spoon, but she got spoons and she lined them up and she helped her friend to understand when you are chronically ill, especially when you're not feeling well, every day is the struggle. Our best way of trying to help people understand what it is is to tell them about the spoon theory, but I'm giving to you in just the very simplest form. I, I'll link it in the description box because you're interested in going and reading it. If you have someone in your life that is sick, chronically sick or has an autoimmune disease, I would highly recommend that you go and take a look at it. I felt like it helped my family to understand a little bit more my daily struggle. Every activity that you do is a spoon used up. So my husband wake up and ask me how I'm feeling, I'll just let him know how many spoons I have. Some mornings, I felt like I didn't have any spoons, some mornings because of the deficit. Like when it's a struggle to go and brush your teeth, you already know it's gonna be a stay in bed day. Okay, <laughs> this thing if you know trying to sit down for hours trying to film that just isn't gonna work. Last week I was really really thinking I'm going to come back and film. I have sponsorships that I needed to film every day. Every day when I'm not filming because I'm sick, I'm hoping to film. Every day for me is a painful day. I try to not be too hard on my body. My sister says whenever when I talk bad about her, it's get mad. Yeah, you know, she knows that. I try not to be too hard on my body and I try not to compare myself to someone else. And I also need to listen to my body. It does not do me any good. It actually is a huge setback for me if I take the position that I'm going, you know, no, I'm good, no. It does not work out for me. If I push my body to the break point, my body has broken already. It's gonna be 10 years next month, September 12th, 2012. So the last day I was pain free, the last day I was pain free was September 11th, 2012. Every day since that, I've been in some pain. Some days is better, some days is worse. I learned, especially the way I, the, the way I went about it when I first got sick, I have no doubt that that was not helpful. Now, what I do is I have this in my body. I miss you guys, I miss work, I miss everything, but I'm not feeling well enough to do it. Before I go into my final thoughts about this makeup, I want to share with you guys, please get ready with me. I said I'm gonna also share the perfume that I'm gonna be using. It was sent to me for me to review and also to share with you guys. I will leave a link in the description bar where you can go and check this brand out. I would highly recommend that you check them out. Their luxury perfume is quite affordable. What makes them unique is the fact that they grow everything that they use to produce their perfumes. I don't know about you, but I don't have any other perfumes in my collection that are like that. To help me out, because I'm in pain, I'm going to let the story read the top notes for you, and then I'll tell you exactly how it smells to me. Fragrance family, oriental top notes, pineapple, bergamot, cassis, apple middle notes, musk, rose, patchouli, jasmine base notes, cardamom, clove, vetiver, frankincense. Okay, so I have a little bit of this on already. I'm gonna spray it again. Oh God, 
that smells so good like and it lasts a very very long time when you first spray it the first thing you get a whiff of is the pineapple and after that it settles into the rose and the jasmine so it becomes a little bit more subtle it doesn't take long for it to settle in once it starts settling in, you're gonna start to smell the sweet notes you guys know that i love sweet perfume they did allow me to pick out my own so i did choose this one every year they come out with a new perfume this is a 2021 perfume this one here does come in two different sizes 100 ml and then the 50 ml the one i have is the 50 ml it is definitely a different perfume from what i currently have in my collection and i actually like that i will leave the link for them in the description bar now full, full disclosure this is going to be an affiliate link which means should you click on this link and go ahead and purchase something i will get a small commission any funds that i get it goes back into the channel so i'm able to produce content for you so i would really appreciate if you're going to buy this that you please go ahead and use my link in the description bar now let's talk about this makeup they lied they lied this foundation it does not look on camera the way it looks in person. The biggest complaint from this foundation was people complain about not being able to find their shade. If I'm your shade twin, shade 14.5 is gonna be the correct shade. The issue I'm having with this has nothing to do with the shade. The shade looks fine to me. I think I can tell whether or not I'm gonna like a foundation from I started blending it in. And you guys saw from when I started blending this in, I did not like it. I think this foundation is very dry. I don't know if I would describe it as a matte foundation just because I have matte foundations that I like and I didn't think it's dry. The La Mer foundation is a soft, I think it's a soft matte foundation and I like it. This foundation, there's nothing about this foundation that I like right now. I will add the caveat that my skin is not in its best condition right now. And the thing about it is the area where I'm having the issue is just right around here. I have this little breakout here, then I have some pimples, a little small stuff here. This side, I don't have any breakouts on, but this side does not look any better to me than this side. What the foundation did for me, it overemphasized the smallest little issues that I might have. The foundation overemphasized them. It's supposed to minimize pores, right? The look of pores right here, mm -mm, they minimize. And I don't have large pores, that's not a concern. But this, I feel like it's overemphasizing it. This foundation is not a foundation that I'm gonna put the Bernie stamp of approval on just yet. Let's talk about these from Makeup by Mario. Oh, these was the style of the show. Both of these were gonna make a guest appearance if they had come on at all. These, yes. If you are trying to figure out what these are for, because honestly, that's how I felt, right? I got them, but I, I saw my, to my husband, I don't know what these are. I feel like the videos that I saw people reviewing this, they was all over the place. There were people who wanted to use it as the on top of their foundation or those who felt like it was gonna be a foundation, hey, you do you. What I felt like the best way to do it was gonna be to use it on top of the foundation. Absolutely. I would definitely, I will definitely recommend these. If you weren't sure how to use these, what they were, I absolutely love these. These will be making appearances. I know now that I have them making a guest, they'll be starring again in some more Bernie Playboy makeup videos. Three briefly, the bronzer from charlotte tilbury you guys know this is the bronzer queen i think if you if you are my skin tone if you want a bronzer that's going to give you that sun kiss glow shade number three right here this this definitely gets a seal of approval this is definitely another one of my go-to staple bronzer this just went straight there like okay we need y'all need a cream in the family y'all sitting over here there's no cream so now there's a cream in the family and this is it right here i absolutely love this, this bronzer does exactly what it says it's going to do just quickly because i'm going to try to insert some clips as much as i can find trying to insert, insert them this right here i find this to be very very pretty i am not surprised that, that this shade performed the way that it did because it was pigmented from when i swatched it when i was trying to review this previously what i am not happy with as a dark skinned person this is the only one of these that, that actually show up on me this, i will be definitely using the other so y'all can get a chance to see it but it's just because pat mcgrath every pat mcgrath i've ever tried was perfect everything from pat mcgrath i absolutely love these i am um, if i had to grade these 
I would give them a seven. The quality is there, the packaging is nice, and you do get two shades in here for $44. But I will say, before you purchase these, if you can go into Sephora, take a look at them, because the pictures that we're seeing, the pictures we're seeing on social media, those are filtered. I know because I'm not getting that same pigmentation that I'm seeing there. Like I say, for me, I would give this whole collection a uh, to, I mean a seven out of ten. Will I use them again? Absolutely. Especially this one. I will definitely use use this one. But what I from this one, what I see, I'll find myself pulling this. Always might have three. I wanted a variety. That's it for what I used that was new. Everything else that I used to create this look, as always, will be listed in the description bar. Alright, guys, so we have reached the end of today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for spending part of your day with me. I do appreciate it. If you had not yet already done so, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up that does help me here on youtube and if you are not yet a bernie babe come on hit the subscribe button make it official join the family and until next time guys please be safe bye